this doesn't define me. Um, it's about who I am today and what I'm striving to be. Well, sex trafficking exposed. Tonight, we take you into the lives of two local women who say they've been forced to sell their bodies for sex in North Toledo. You usually see our Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro in our D.C. Bureau, but this week she's bringing you a series of reports on sex trafficking, sex trafficking in our community, and it all starts with the victims. This is just one street in Toledo where young girls are bought and sold every single day. But it's also a place where members of our community are rallying behind victims of sex trafficking. Seven years ago, Michelle Moore, a victim of sex trafficking, walked this North Toledo street looking for men who would pay her for sex. There were a lot of nights walking down the street knowing I couldn't go back until I had made what I had to make. Moore has the physical scars, two glaring gashes across her neck from a man who stabbed her. He attacked me and he tried to rape, rob, and murder me. And the emotional scars. You just get to that point where my self-esteem was just so low. Moore describes the traffickers in our community as evil and deceitfully charismatic, using drugs and alcohol to keep young girls under their control, ready to trade them for quick cash. Once they get you under their control, then the gloves come off. They're very charismatic, you know, until they get what they want, until they get you in that position where there's no, there's no turning back. No turning back for more. Instead, she's moving forward. Back and cheese. Moore's a senior at the University of Toledo, studying to be a counselor, and she works for Second Chance, a community program for victims, providing food, comfort, and hope to young girls. My job here as a survivor um, is so important because they can look to me and they can say, wow, we know that you were in the life. You know, we know, you know, that you've been there and, and, you're, and you are where you are today. Just a few miles away, under a stained glass window at that neighborhood church, Leanne Campbell tells me her childhood put her on a path that led to being trafficked. She says her stepfather started taking photos of her and selling them when she was just six years old. Sex for money, it was quick and easy. You don't have a choice, there's no options. And the options aren't, you know, good and evil, it's all bad. Campbell abused drugs and alcohol as a way to cope. Her way out came after this. I actually threatened to go and kill my mom and my five kids. That incident led to jail time and eventually recovery. Now Campbell is sober, has custody of her children, and volunteers in the community. She started a nonprofit called Rahab's Heart, aimed at helping other women. Just, you know, walking with them, humbling ourselves to walk with them, you know, for the first time to just start building that relationship to show them there is another way. While some survivors have changed their lives, this place hasn't been transformed yet leaving serious work to be done here and throughout our community. Reporting in Toledo, Jacqueline Paula Castro, 13 ABC Action News. And tomorrow night we'll explore what community activists are doing on a grassroots level to help combat sex trafficking. You can find the victims' full stories on our website, 13abc.com.